sleeping. Friend, we will talk when the breath of life has fled from every last orc's body.
your agony! Dry shirt! Despair. This battle may be over, but the <gasps> war rages on. The debt is paid. Good riddance. There's only one thing to do next, comrade. We've got to go after the scum who started all this. I hope you're ready for us, Leandra. When I find you, <clears throat> better for both of us if I don't. I don't think the gods will forgive me after what I do to you.
help you, my friend?
Source Hunter, you stand at the very doorstep of dreaded Phantom Forest, and before you enter these woods, I need to tell you something. Something about me and Cassandra. The first thing you should know, my friend, is that I am not a human. I am, in fact, a true cat. At least, such was my start in life. I will tell you all, and all begins with Cassandra. Her tale is not a happy one. She was kept like a prisoner in her brother Bracchus's castle, locked up alone in a tower like some fairy tale princess. One day, though, I came along. A young little tomcat that climbed up the branches of a tree, reaching her window. She was kind to me. Fed me well and petted me to my heart's content. But her loneliness drove her to do more. She was a sorceress, you see, and with her magic gave me human consciousness and a voice to give it expression. We talked the days away, content to know one another, but once more, her loneliness drove her further. One morning I woke, and to my horror, yes, horror, I was a man. A cat no longer. Don't worry, she assured me. You can be your own self still, but here with me, a man you must be. Despite my confusion and apprehension, I admit it didn't take long for me to enjoy the newfound pleasures of a newfound existence. I loved her truly. Loved her deeply. But then her brother took her. And when she returned, she was a lich. Twisted and vile. In terror, I recoiled. Fled our tower and was soon discovered by Bracchus's sentinels. They dragged me to the Mad King. So enraged was he to discover she had loved another that he feasted all his wrath upon me. All that is sweet and good in life ceased for many long years. Yet, despite it all, I loved Cassandra still, remembering the woman that was. So when the Source Hunters came, I wasn't simply liberated like I told you. No. I searched for Cassandra and, knowing she'd be executed on the spot, helped her make her escape. I, Hunter, I helped a sorceress lick escape. And that is the very reason I'm divulging all this. To warn you that she is here. Yes, it is true. Cassandra is the phantom that gives Phantom Forest its name. I fear that will indeed be inevitable. This is her forest now. She, its queen. No trespass remains without consequence, and I have no clue how her mind twists and turns after all these years. Human yet, or horror only. Humanity. Oh, how I hope. Imperfect though it may be, that a glimpse of humanity may still lie buried beneath the lich Cassandra is today. Be that as it may, stand warned that she possesses phenomenal powers, and that she is impervious to the sting of sword or sorcery. I haven't laid eyes on Cassandra in many ages, Hunter, and I fear for what you may find. Fear for what I may find. What a tale that was. A cat turned human, soon swept into all kinds of misery for all his troubles. He has lived through the worst, you... Agreed.
Resisting. Dandelion's amulet is protecting me. The spectral tape has no effect. the doomed Cassandra. I am her fruit. I am her nectar. I am her ambrosia. The temple is not all it seems. Lower the bridge. Find her bones. Untainted in these woods? How... how is it possible? And what a welcome sight you are to eyes grown so weary of chaos and corruption. Do you feel the spirit of these woods, blessed one? It's growing fainter every day, overcome by darkness, pain, and terror. My mentor, the forest spirit, is dying, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I am the spirit's apprentice, and it was once our happy lot to care for and heal the flora and fauna of this forest. I have so much still to learn, but my mentor has been overcome by the powerful forces of evil that have invaded our home. Shiara is her name, and the hum of her energy among the trees is growing fainter, a dying heartbeat I know not how to save. We were caught by a terrible demon, a sick soul who thrives on the anguish he draws from others. I escaped, only to find that without Chiara's protection, I was an easy target for the Leaf Queen. I am a lamb among wolves, and Chiara's power is waning. Without help, this forest and all its creatures will succumb to evil. I've seen these woods pass through the hands of terrible fiend after fiend. First came the sorcerers, tainted by cruel magic. Next came the Lich Queen, mired in sorrow and a thirst for death. But I would have served them all in gratitude if it meant we'd be free of Balbarith. He thrives on pain. He feeds on it like a bee to a flower. He must have caught whiff of Shiara's sanctuary here. Her home for creatures tainted by source, and figured he'd found himself a never-ending feast of pain. He captured us both, Chiara and I, and so the creatures of these woods were left vulnerable. I managed to escape while he glutted himself upon the fears of an unlucky passer-through, but I could not free my master in time. 
He keeps her there in his lair even now, waiting for her to break, so that he may consume her. Is that why you've come? Do you intend to destroy Valbareth? Blessed I knew you were, but your bravery is astounding. To find the demon, you must make a path through the many creatures he's tormented. Tread around them with care, O oh hero. They have been tainted, but any anguish you inflict upon them will only feed Barbareth and make him stronger. Once Balbareth is destroyed, Shiara will be free. In time, her spirit will heal, and with it, this forest. Thank you, brave blessed one. Good luck. Careful now, that's a trap. Oh, dear. 